Here's something that I've seen interesting. Um, there was a rally in Fort Collins. Uh, something about Blue Lives Matter. Now, we already know these right-wingers. They don't care about blue lives. They don't care about veterans. Look at Trump going after the post office. Most people that work for the post office were people who retired from the military. 20 and 30 career, 20 and 30 year career military personnel who retired and decided they're going to finish off their time working for the post office. Of course, Trump doesn't, doesn't know that. He probably doesn't care. Well, I know he doesn't care. He's never been any other than anything but himself anyway. So anyway. These people hold these rallies so they can bring in confrontation. In fact, this guy in this video, Louie, he's been ducking us for a long time. We've been calling him out. We've been calling him out. And not for a, a, a fight, but yeah, for a fight. But it's funny to hear this. And these are their words, not mine. Eve covering Colorado first. Thank you, Mackenzie. Three people were arrested and another cited after brawls erupted at a pro-police rally in Fort Collins yesterday. This video, captured by a right-wing group, shows multiple people throwing punches and even some using weapons like a baton. Our Connor McHugh spoke with the Fort Collins police chief and Connor, police are still trying to sort out what happened. Kathy, the chief says investigators are going through videos of the incident today, trying to figure out the exact crimes committed and who the aggressors were. Tonight, he made it very clear that people on both sides are at fault for what happened. At a Back the Blue rally in Fort Collins Saturday, it didn't take long for tensions to rise. This is video captured by Louis Huey, a local right-wing podcast host. It shows one of several confrontations between demonstrators and counter-protesters. What you saw was 50, 60, maybe 70 of the most people, patriots, pushing them away out of the neighborhood, saying, you need to leave, get out of here. But the worst was yet to come. Soon the standoff devolved into violence. For about a minute and a half, people exchanged punches in a drainage ditch, though video doesn't show exactly how it started. Keep punching each other in the face. Just don't shoot each other. Soon, one person swung a water bottle before being restrained. Another used what appeared to be a baton. You see some of the images, somebody with an American flag poking at somebody else who's, who's in a fight with somebody. It's like... You know, what kind of cowardly act is that? Police Chief Jeff Swoboda says most people at the rally were peaceful, but both sides had aggressors. It's clear that people are showing up there looking to get in a fight with each other. So far, police have cited one person and arrested three others. Chief Swoboda says investigators will pursue anyone else who committed crimes, no matter who or what they claim to represent. If there are people out there claiming to support the police, but go out there and act in a manner that's not consistent with our values, we don't want your support. Now, the chief says his officers did respond to that incident, but were not there when it exactly started. Right now, the department is asking for anyone who witnessed what happened or captured video of what happened to reach out to detectives. Live tonight, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. Thank you. The word came straight from the chief's mouth. They don't want your support. If you're not going to hold up the American values like, you know, holding up the Constitution, Trump the tyrant wants to burn the Constitution. These right-wingers are full of shit. Everybody knows they're full of shit. They make these rallies so they can get everybody out there, so they can say all these people are unpatriotic and they just want to start shit. They're the ones who want to start shit. They're the ones who want to collapse America. And you know what? These people are terrorists, folks. Don't let them rally. They're going to say they back the blue. They don't care about the blue. As long as the blue is on their side, they're with the blue, supposedly, but when it changes and they actually sit there and they say they're going to be constitutionalists and they're going to hold up the values of America, they don't back the blue. They don't care. These people are terrorists, folks. Terrorists. When you see that Trump flag, that's the fucking the, the, the flag of terror and tyranny. All things T. They don't back the blue. They don't care about the blue.